Number three. <sighs> Nestle claims to have found a way to reduce the sugar content of its chocolate by as much as 40% while not losing any sweetness. Using they have found really? A way, they We're going to talk about that and not the fact that Nestle is <coughs> buying 800,000 gallons of water oh, from Oh, no, Michigan. no. We, they found a way of hollowing out the sugar particles which causes the sugar to dissolve faster to deliver a sweet sensation more quickly than traditional sugar. And they claim it uses only natural ingredients and the final product is still sugar. The problem I have with this... Don't mess with your chocolate. Well, one, don't mess with my chocolate. <laughs> Two is one of the first things you learn in chemistry is if you change the molecule, it's not going to react the same way. It's true. And if you... Nestle's going to kill us all. And if you take like a nutrition class, you learn that the shape of the molecule causes it to interact with your body differently. It's going to give us cancer. So, you know, this may... This very well may kill us all. <laughs> yeah, no, correct me if I'm wrong. It's like iPhone read, radio waves. What you read actually <laughs> said nothing about the hollowing out the molecule, did it? No. Well, that's no, the reason I'm asking is because it's the, they're hollowing out the structure of the crystal, right? Right, but that's. But the way the crystal is formed is by the molecular structure. Saying, yeah. It sounds so its molecular weight is smaller, so it won't be as much caloric content. I'd have to know more about the process. I suspect yeah, that what they're doing they're is the equivalent of creating. Uh, more surface area. Maybe, but that still that's that's it's gonna like, change. It's the it. same taste, but it's, you know, it's sort of like when you you're changing the way that salt. molecules interact with each other then. So are you if you're if you're doing it at a physical level, are you at the molecular level? I don't think you are. I, I feel like that would require a different process than something you're gonna automate. So I feel like what they're actually doing I'd have to know more. Yeah, see the thing is I'll I research mean, for when, sure. So leave a comment, right? Let's look into it. Let's get into. Let's delve into the the science behind this. Well, they're not releasing any of it yet until they get the patent. Oh, because it's proprietary. Uh huh. Ah, screw it. But you know, crunch or crackle. When you oh, hello, studio. When you're cat. making chocolate, you're you know you, when you add the sugar, you're dissolving the sugar, which would automatically break up the. Mm -hmm. the I mean, this is chocolate particles. made in America. Is it chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm a Ghirardelli man Ghirardelli. myself. <laughs> I uh, I love I love American chocolate. The Hershey, the Hershey. It's chocolate. mostly wax, you know that, right? I, well, listen, <laughs> it's. I get the super dark stuff. So <laughs> it's an American tradition, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm an American. Mr. Good Bar is good. Mr. Good Bars are delicious. My favorite are Take Fives. Oh yes. yes. But I am a jazz musician, so. Yes. There if you go. Puts that together. Oh, I've got it. Oh, there you go. I'm not really a chocolate person. <laughs> You're not really an anything person. I, one day I will find out the things you No, like. there are some things that he is definitely a, a particular person. But I'm not sure we, I'm a hot sauce don't. person. No, that's true. We're not going to talk about that on <laughs> yeah. this podcast. But I'm a hot sauce person. I'm very definitely a hot sauce What's person. What's your favorite hot sauce? Um, it, it depends on the application. We should so give a shout Mexican out to food. Tears of Joy. Yes. Um, typically, I go with um, like um, Marie Sharp stuff for the... Um, Belizean type thing. Uh, Tabasco is good for some stuff, but Definitely. it's not really hot. It really is. Yeah. Cholula is good for some stuff. Love Cholula. It's, it's not really hot. Um, and then you get off into the esoteric shit, which I don't really stuff. know much about. But ghost pepper. Not even ghost pepper. I think it's more of a thing like I like oh, habaneros more than ghost pepper. So even if you're talking about, ever had but even if you're talking about a ghost pepper, I mean, realistically, everything is then a genetic variant off a of habanero. So mm -hmm. I mean, sure. I mean, they always go, oh, it's the ghost pepper. It's from blah 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 India, where you know it was farted on by a cobra. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was just bred to be a little bit hotter that version the brand. of a an lot existing. Lot of I mean, orders when, of magnitude. Out. Yeah, but the orders at that point, some of these peppers are in the range uh, where your body just won't even tell the difference. No, where they they by law really have to be considered by the FDA anyway as as uh, food additives. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, once you're past a certain point, it's it's an additive. It's no longer a food mm -hmm. because it's dangerous. That's because yeah. yeah, if you, you ate, ate it by in, itself, in yeah. A large quantity. So it's 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 that's a whole and and a lot of these pepper extracts that are super hot that people use like when they're boiling turkeys or something Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Those you know they're not hot sauces. 
they're not hot sauces. They're, <laughs> but they're fry a turkey. <laughs> food additives, and they they have to be handled with specialty equipment, and it's just not the same. I and mean, once you get past regular habanero, you're getting into what's the one I had this morning? Is it August in Austin? Yes. Yeah, Tears of Joy, hmm. down on Sixth Street. They do. It's a store full of hot sauces. Really? Mm-hmm. All hot sauce. They have a whole store. They make hot sauces there. I like their I like their house brands. And they, I, make, they do salsas. They do yeah. even powdered spices. They, like the uh, powdered fire that I put on your breakfast sandwiches every oh morning. Oh yeah, the powdered fire is good. They do a. Uh, is it called? It's no longer called. Is it called the sword now? I think so. That's their ghost pepper sauce. Are ghost peppers sword. and ghost chilies the same thing? Or are they different? They're the same thing. Okay. And it's uh, different nomenclature. But August and Austin, it's, cons- they, it's like one step back from that. Mm-hmm. It's a little more flavor. What's the name of the shop again? Tears of Joy. Tears yeah. of Joy. Yep. Oh, got it. They're great. Cool. So, shout out to them. I don't give a bleep about Nestle, except I give a bleep about Nestle and what they're doing in Michigan. How is it that Flint still has lead in their water, but Nestle's going to come in and buy municipal water? Well, they it's did the take same thing the in California, too, remember? I, yeah, and I want to say a couple other states. They did. Nestle is a, a company. There's a couple of very interesting documentaries on Netflix about it. The uh, What they do with the water globally. They're, that company is the big... They're the ones who really push the privatization of water systems mm-hmm. globally. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, they're just awful. Yeah. So Note taken. Yeah, so, like, that's why I like Hershey's stuff. They're sli- they're less awful, though. Admittedly, almost all chocolate that we consume in America, somebody was enslaved to bring us that chocolate. Probably. <laughs> so just remember that next time you have I like that French rule. chocolate. Well, chocolate chocolate mm. noir they call it. It has more to do with the way they harvest the the cacao plant. Mm-hmm. The uh, that's where that's where all the human rights violations go on. Yeah. It's very, I would think it's so. Way down at the bottom of that ladder. Yep. All right. What's next? 